Hey, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back with our this is another episode of PK and Vidas series. And this time we are back up with an another crunchy topic that is been you know most struggling and confusing topic for every student. That is resume building. And for this now we are having a very young and talented Shambhavi Gupta as a speaker, uh, youngest data science and data educator. So first of all, Shambhavi, thank you so much for accepting the invitation and coming upon our platform. Hey, hey, to so Vidya, thank you. Thank you a lot for inviting me over here. I'm like super excited to looking forward to the season. Uh, it's all all pressure. And uh, actually, we can the speakers, the personalities that come up on our platform and share their experiences. So it's been a great, you know, a kind of second brain for all the engineers, basically, all the tips and the resources that we have collected from you guys. So it's been a great asset for the whole community. So on the behalf of all those engineers, we are thankful to you guys like you. So let's start uh, proceeding with this session. So uh, Samuel, uh, will you please uh, tell a little bit more about uh, yourself to our audience? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So yeah, hey everyone. And yeah, I'm Shambhavi Gupta, right? I'm the youngest data science educator in India. And I'm working as an instructor at Udemy, where I have seen more than 60,000 students with my 15 plus courses all over 176 countries. I am working as a subject matter expert for UpGrad, video content creator for great learning, geeks for geeks, glam research, I did for your millennials track and many more. Even I'm the founder of YouTube channel, Family Data Science. So my main field of expertise is data science and Python. So whatever I do, whatever workshops I deliver, whatever places I'm working for, it's all about data science. Okay, that's good. That's very impressive, basically achieving so much uh, tax and experience at such a very young age. Uh, I guess it's a dream for many students. So congratulations for that. Thank okay. you. So let's start uh, with our topic, uh, that resume building. So can you? Uh, introduce or can you brief about the basic format like what should be the basic structure of resume see uh whenever we go or we just like try or think about any interviews any job so very first thing that comes into our mind is all about like resume right how to prepare this all about so see it's not about how fancy your resume you are gonna make it's all about how detailed and how perfectly you are gonna put that I have right now actually reviewed a lot of resumes for many students also. So the one thing that they're doing is that they are just like putting grace into their resumes and just making it all over. No, that's another thing. I tell you what's the absolutely correct way. So it should be uh, maybe MS Word onto that. Yeah. You don't need any template. It's it's like not at all you will require any template. Just simply you can type onto your own only. Just start with the name onto the very top. Your details, initial details, like your contact number, your con your email ID, maybe these two contact details. After that, try to write down that what are you actually? You are a student, or you are a working professional, or any of the other things, whatever you are doing. Moving ahead with that, now start with your a small summary, a professional summary. And that will just include one or two lines, not more than one or two lines. You don't have to. Give your whole bio to that particular SR. You just have to say that okay, these two lines are about me, what I am and what how I can be benefited or how am I good for your company. What's your benefit to keep me into your company? You just have to showcase that particular thing with a professional summary to the sub two lines. After that, you can include your education, maybe your 10th, 12th, and uh, your passing EO. If you are still first way, just write down your EO first way and just write down your latest CGPA, CGPA percentage, whatever you have in your college. Moving further, just try to put down what projects you have worked. Now, see, that is one section that you have to very, very, very clearly work over because projects and skills, these two are the things that would just help you to make your resume stand out and Get it to be shortlisted to just go ahead and giving your interview to the HR, right? So projects. Now here you will put the projects which you have done in the data science field. If you're applying for software development, put the projects which you have done to the software development. It's not all about the which particular or what other projects you are doing. It's about which respective field you are applying for and you're just simply putting all over the things over there. Right, that's the very first. Secondly, after doing a browser, so you get the next chapter. Now, this portion, you have to 
put it in a way ki in this starting you just have to simply put down that okay this uh, maybe your c c++ or python or if you are proficient dsa or data science or any other then next will come in your about your respective other skills now in your other skills you can put some communication skills or what other skills you are good at see now if i focus over a data science basically so data science resume will consist three things under this category because there is one as a programming languages second as a libraries and tools and third as a other skills these three will be the parts So if we talk about programming languages, C, C++, Java, Python, whatever you know, right? Mm-hmm. All these things simply put down. Next will be all about your uh, maybe the other skills. Sorry, it will be all about your like the other numpy, pandas, Python, and tools. So if you have the R or Excel, whatever you are good at, like that, right? Even if you include one more, where you can just include the mathematical and the statistical part also. So including that, you can just write that. Down. Write that down. You are just good at any other particular thing apart from the technical. You just simply put those down. So now, just I have given the example for data science. Again, the same depends for the software, right? You can just firstly put down the maybe programming skills. Then you can just go for the database thing, database skills over there. Third, you can just go for computer networking and that computer networking. What things do you know and what do you are good at? So just don't like the write that C, C++, Java. Python, DSA, recursion, and the like that, like that. That's not this like particular method and a good method to write them. So break them down into small, small chunks. You can give a headline, and in front of that headline, you have to put down what you are actually having the skill in the programming. Just try to start with title, and after put down the title in the project for project you have done the title, and in two three bullet points write down what was the project about. In bullet points, just make sure to put that perspective thing because it's not that you are just writing a long paragraph or five lines and uh, you you think that the HR and the interviewer is going to sit and do that. No, they are not going to do that exactly. They don't have that much time. They are you need to just do bullet points much as you can do. And after your skills, the projects, and come to your certifications, whatever certifications you have done, maybe um, you have done from outside or from your college only. And all those picture things, if this much is there, and now still any space is left in one page, so yeah. you can even add that. What are your hobbies, or maybe the other languages which you know. But I am sure that if you are an engineering student, the third or fourth year, one page will completely be filled with this much only. And make sure to put one page of resume only, not two yeah. pages, not allowed. And that's why there are many people who will say that okay, make it two, but no, not allowed. Only one single page. So yeah, that's a very simple format to follow out your details, maybe your professional summary, your education, your projects, your skills, and your qualifications. Yeah, that's great. I guess all that perspective also is for all the students that are looking for. Uh, so basically, uh, I know every students have, have some skills to offer for their companies for the recruiters parts. So, but. Somehow they, you know, they miss that part. Like how to showcase their skills. You know, they have the skills, they have the learning process and all that part. But still, they don't know the correct representation of those skills. So, like how can someone, you know, showcase their skills on the resume part to the recruiters for a effective presentation? Okay. See, as I told, just let's say, let's say we take example for software development. And algorithm is something which is very important for you to go ahead and crack in your interviews. So now under DSA, what is required? Yeah. You should be good onto your uh, maybe recursion parts. You should be good onto your uh, trees, stacks, queues. These are some places where you should be good at. So try to brief them out. Just don't write data structures and algorithm. Don't write that. Just simply write that DSA. Put a colon in front of that. Try to write that. Most Skills you know and they do. I know it might take a little five minutes more rather than designing a simple resume, but put that five minutes more so that your resume just gets selected up. Okay. Simply don't write me. I know DSA or I know what is or any other particular thing. I know what is computer networking. Now in the computer networking, what things do you know? How does the software are made? What are the things done? Yeah. Like just try to elaborate each and everything over it. 
Like even I have said that many times, so what are students right now doing this art? They are just finding that okay, I know C, I know Java, I know DSC, and I know this and this. Only five skills they have mentioned. Yeah. Okay, so that's all done. Yeah. Now that is what not a recruiter is looking for. Like if they if they auto check your resumes or if they manually check your resumes, they are going to reject it. Auto checking the resumes will surely reject. Because yeah. it will not get that keyword only onto their particular software. So you are going to reject it. And take it manually, they're not going to read that word in all within five skills. They say, okay, one, two, three, four, five, five skills, reject it. Reject it, right? So try to navigate what the skills you are good at. Just don't say DLC. Inside that, right, what parts you are good at, what parts you have, what, what parts do you know actually. So that would be like the skills portion. Try to mention that and surely your resume will be sad out from others. Okay, okay, that's so uh, great. So, uh, like as we discuss about the all the sources, their skills, and all the basic format and portion of the length, basically. Uh, but obviously, uh, being as a beginner, there are some common mistakes that every student commit once in a life. Even when I was a beginner, when I started making my resume, so uh, I did the same mistakes. So, uh, can you mention some any some common mistakes that students should avoid while building their resume? Okay, see, common mistakes, those are firstly key. You are not excelling your resume perfectly. Excelling means resume means you're not choosing a com good format for your resume. As I mentioned, the very silent first time which I said, fancy resume is not allowed. We want the resume which showcase what you are good at. I don't want yeah. to have that red, blue, pink color onto my resume. From from like from far only, I would just predict that okay, I don't need this. But even Right now, the putting the photograph on the one side that that way has also gone. We just want a very simple blue black resume into which your normal details are in the black color and your highlights which you want me to go to those are in the blue. Color. That it that is the word I want in a resume right now. That's the very first thing. Secondly, don't go over very fancy fonts. Many are there who use LG and who use different, 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 different types of fonts yeah. all over their resume. Just, just try to be very professional. Maybe you can take ideal, Arial font, or maybe Calibri font, any particular one font, try to take it and just simply make it. Third thing what I have noticed is we make a lot of bold and italics onto our yeah. complete resume. We just think that, okay, if I will make this bold and italics, the interviewer is eyes will go on to okay, what is this written? But no, that looks messy. What to do is that, just let's say if I was talking to you about if you have any experience into yourself, something, any, anything into your four years of engineering or four years of your degree. So you might have any experience. Now if I want to mention that experience, how will I do? I'll start experience, my company name, I would put two bullet points and what I have done was simply one just bullet point. In front of my company, I have to write what was the duration. So that duration part, I can make it valid. Because that is something which I want the interviewer to notice. That okay, this much experience I have into this perspective. Right. So whatever things you want the interviewer to look over, make that as bold or tiny, but not everything, not everything. Just in one section, maybe you are having a section of your uh, certification, okay? Yeah. So just try to board the certification companies. Like let's say there was certification by this XYZ company. Just put that XYZ in effective board. Not that whole complete name, that introduction to MSSL by this company. Not that complete board. Just this company or just what certification your particular topic is having. So that particular try to take it both. So in this manner, if you ask of a ratio, so under one second, you will just have two or three boards. And that also for the interview, you see that okay, you have done this particular. Next, things that is like all over there, the board and Alex have been done, I guess, yeah, font size actually. Font size, we sometimes make the font is very big, sometimes it's very small. And decent font size, keep a decent font size. I won't give a number. See, the reason is because my, it's my resume will be different, your resume will be different, and yeah. other person's resume will be different according to our own qualifications, maybe experience, maybe projects, and everything. Right? So I won't give a proper number to you, but it's just that it should not reflect too big or too small. It should be a little bit convenient size for me to read it up. Now, that's the thing. One I mentioned already, don't put the paragraph. 
Parapur, everything bullet points, every single thing is bullet points. Okay. Your certifications, put in bullet points, your professional summary, put in bullet points, your education, your qualifications, everything put in bullet points. None of the paragraphs are at all. Yeah, these are a few of the things which I would recommend every fresher to follow out to building up their resume. Okay, so okay, uh, I want to mention over here ATS application tracking system that the most companies use. Uh, so, could you share some uh, brief introduction about this ATS and what are the uh, you know some specific words or keywords that we should use while mentioning or uh, uh, while applying to the company as per the job description part? So, uh, any brief on this part, ATS. Right? If you are applying for a web developer role, so the project which you have done under the web development, not under the software on the data science. So it's very, very, very important for you to first of all look out what job you are applying for. Many times it happens, see, I have I have actually I had a word with the recruiters, HR. So what are they telling? See, yeah. we have raised up a job role for something marketing and something. And the resumes for many scripts which they have received, they are for the software developer resumes. So now, this is one thing which not has to be done. Really, this not has to be done. If you are applying for marketing, so make your resume as a marketing editor. If you're applying for data scientist, make your resume as a data scientist. And that is very, very, very simple. You just have one template, you have everything. Just you have to work, you have to make the changes, you have to make the changes under the certification. Under your projects and under your school. Just okay. that, right? Nothing more than you have to just make the difference for, or nothing you just have to make the changes for. So, just try to take your particular resume, a sensitive focus resume, and know whatever the job role you are planning to apply. That's the respective thing which you have to Okay, that's great. Uh, so basically, like they have uh, covered uh, every that my details about covering or uh, crafting this resume part. So can you provide some sample because we have talked about many you know, many stuffs like we should do this, we should do that, that. So uh, any sample demo that you want to share with our audience so that they can relate that idea basically the discuss the things that we have discussed here so that uh, they can get an idea a kind of sample. It would be great for them. Absolutely, I would. Just a minute. Just let me know, is this screen visible? Yeah, it's clearly visible. It's visible. Okay, see, this is one of the resumes which I have uh, like just taken out for, from Google. I just found out that okay, the template and everything is quite very, very, very good into this logo. So, okay. check out this. First of all, what I was trying to tell you is that on the very top, just try to write down your name. See, as it is written up over here, your name is mentioned on the very top. What you are yeah. actually, you are a working professional or you are a student or what you are, just try to write that. Down the line, just try to mention your contact details, maybe your number, your email ID, your LinkedIn profile, or if any other profile, your lead code or coach profile, you have just put that. So see, here you just have to mention a summary of yours. Now, this particular resume which I am showing, this is for a Experienced person. That is why the summary is a little four, five, four lines or something. But for a pressure, the summary will be of two lines. Two to four and a half lines, not more than. Let's see another skill how this person has mentioned. The business skills which this person having is budgeting, financial, and this is project management. This is this is this, right? And the technology, these Excel, SQL, Power BI, Tableau, Python, these skills are. So try to differentiate your skills. Not just write that, okay, I know Power BI, Excel, Tableau, then budgeting, then business strategy, problem. not like that. Just try to differentiate that what another particular title you have to put. Like, it is being put down over here. Further, you just have to put down your experience. If you are having any, again, the format is same, your company, what you, what role were you there, yeah. and what have you done under that particular company, what was your main work in that company, right? In front of that, try to write what year, right? Which year you did that particular thing? If it is from 2019 to right now, so it is from it onward. Or from so 18 to 19, what was the respective duration of the year when you have done, right? Next to the line, you have your education. As I told, you can just simply put down your yeah. education. Any previous two 
education let's say you are right now in your uh, graduation so put down your uh, maybe grades about your 10th 12th and the graduation or if you want to strike 12th graduation that will also work okay yeah. at stand after education just put down your courses and certifications right as per here just put down courses and certification so from which particular thing what course you done see now just see the bold portion which i will say tmi this is the particular course which is being done right again it is being done by tmi and this particular course has been done by how just try to write the company names for which company you have done this project and in which year you did the certification of the courses and in which year you have done that particular thing. and again okay. if you are left out with any space write down your hobbies and if you are not left out with the space delete that you see it is something every thing which has to be mentioned into a resume now this is one as a sample of resume this is for a special level you can just see okay again your details what you are your contact details again this is a method for skills but don't take this method now okay i am showing this because the skills written here are not absolutely perfect the method which is mentioned onto the previous okay. resume title in front of that work is needed that perspective thing you have to done next your work experience if you are having any your recent education the places where you have worked in means work experience and the languages so let's see this is not a very well versed resume this is a perfect resume which i have shown previous the first resume was absolutely perfect this is a one but not that good because it is not covering almost everything it's not in a perfect man this template don't use use this respective template for your resume this respective method is the best how you can make your resume look absolutely right in front of the interviewer so this see it's not at all looking messy it's very neat and clean very neat and clean right so try to keep your resume as neat as you can give proper spaces and try to put down your things not very detailed but in a brief manner but every Okay, now that will be the only thing which I want. Yeah, I guess uh, it's going to be you know great help for those students who are basically seeking for some kind of guidance in terms of resume making. So on the behalf of all those, I want to say thank you for that. This uh, sharing the sample demo for the resume part.